And our other top story tonight, as the state dedicates more resources to help hospitals manage an influx of COVID-19 patients, uh, Governor Kemp says cases could soon start to fall. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Russ Spencer. I'm Courtney Bryant. Fox 5's Claire Sims spoke with the governor one on one today. She joins us live outside the state capitol. And Claire, you covered everything from the pandemic to politics. Yeah, good evening. Now, COVID-19 remains one of the largest issues still impacting our state. And Governor Kemp says while hospitals have the space to deal with the influx of patients, they don't have the staff. We're seeing early indications that there's some areas of the state that are starting to peak and hopefully go the other way. So, you know, I hope that happens sooner rather than later. Governor Brian Kemp says no matter what, the state will continue to help Georgia's health care systems fight COVID-19. That is why he announced this week the deployment of more than 100 members of the Georgia National Guard to supplement staff at 10 hospitals around the state, including Northeast Georgia Medical Center in Gainesville, Wellstar Kennestone in Marietta, Grady Memorial Hospital in Atlanta, and Piedmont Hospitals in both Fayette and Stockbridge. That is on top of the 2,800 medical staff the state has offered to fund through early December. Georgia is experiencing a surge in COVID cases, with more than 5,000 people currently hospitalized with the virus. Governor Kemp says the National Guard will help speed up the check-in process for patients arriving by ambulance. What the Guard specifically is going to do is to get folks and, and really help speed the process of getting people checked into the hospital that are coming in, uh, especially the emergency room. And while the governor is focused on the fight against COVID, he also has an eye on the fight for U.S. Senate in 2022. After University of Georgia football legend Herschel Walker officially announced his candidacy. Herschel uh, has always brought a lot when he's on the playing field, whether it's in football and now in politics. But we got a lot of great Republicans for the U.S. Senate that are running, including him now. And it's my hope that they're going to stay focused on things that I am. And that's posting up against the disastrous policies of the Biden administration. Governor Kemp says his biggest concerns include inflation and the crises in Afghanistan and along the U.S. southern border. Now, I'm working right now to put the entire interview with Governor Kemp up on my Facebook page. You can find it at Claire Sims, Fox 5. We are live at the state capitol. Claire Sims, Fox 5 News.